Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here rolling solo dolo playing this Madden 19 49ers rebuild year two. So basically what we're doing here, guys, is I already played week one. Uh, I won 34 to 26, so the 49ers are 1-0. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and simulate the rest of the season. Um, and then if I need to jump in here, maybe in like week 17, and play a game so they can make the playoffs or win the division, etc., I will. Or if they make the playoffs, I'll play those games. Um, so essentially, I'm just building the team doing the offseason, playing the first game, getting them started off, and then if they happen if I happen to build them well enough to make the playoffs, we'll do that. So we're uh, going here week two. We're playing the Lions in Detroit. And then once the uh, game gets started up here, I'm going to go ahead and go to Super Sim. And then basically what I'll do from here on out is uh, it'll just be pieced together all the different Super Sims from the rest of the season. That's what this video will be. Um, all the in between the week stuff as far as upgrading the players and things like that. I'm letting that be handled by the, the uh, computer. So really I'm more of kind of like the GM-ish in this series compared to my Brown series where I was playing every game and I was doing all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, just jump forward and... Uh, and we will go ahead and uh, go fast. So we'll go ahead and see what's going on here. Um, I need to go ahead and send it to the end of the game. All right. So we're going to go ahead and see. Detroit's up by three. We're heading into... Ooh, Detroit's up by ten. Leading into half. Oh, my God. All right. So we finally have got it close going into halftime. We're down by six. Halftime, we're still down by six. Oh, my God. We took the lead in the third quarter. Now Detroit's taking it back by two. Oh, we took the lead back again. Detroit took the lead back. We tied it up. And Detroit has... Oh, my God. Look at this. It's OT. What is going to happen? Oh, mother of Pearl. That is that is the proper reaction. So here, week two, we have lost to the Detroit Lions at home in overtime by three. What about an exciting game? Many lead changes, things like that. So we'll go ahead and move to one and one on the season here. And we will go ahead and see Matt Stafford looks to be player of the game, maybe. So man, that was that was one hell of a game. Too bad, uh, too bad the 49ers ended up losing. So there are the final stats. Looks like we had 334 yards passing, 100 yards rushing. Not a bad game. We just didn't come up on top in this one. And then we'll go ahead and check out the stats real quick. Look like Garoppolo, 334, four touchdowns, and a pick. And then uh, rushing, McKinnon had 79 yards. And receiving look like Taylor. Three touchdowns for Taylor in this game. So, all right. So, we will go ahead and exit this one out. And we will see you week three. Okay, guys. Here we are. Week three versus the Cleveland Browns in Cleveland. So, I'm going to go ahead and bump this up to fast. And see how things turn out. Both teams are one and one. It looks like uh, Sam or the Browns take an early lead leading into the second quarter. And we tied it up here right before halftime. And now it's going into the third quarter. Still 7-7. Seven, seven. The Browns are up by three. We have now tied it. The Browns are up by three again. At the very end of the game, we have pulled ahead in the last minute. And we have won. Look how disappointed the Browns are. And they're all orange uniforms. So... 17-13 this week in week two, pulling the record up to two and one. So that is a good start on this year. We'll see if we can continue to build on that going into... Oh, look at that. They're all taking pictures together. 
So 17-13 is the final. Let's go ahead and see what the statistics were for this game, which should be popping up here any second. All right, looks like we had 248 and 71 yards rushing. We each had a turnover, so... Let's go ahead and check out the team's stats before we move on to week four. All right, so we got Garoppolo, 248, two touchdowns and an interception. Uh, McKinnon only had 63 yards rushing. Receiving, we had a couple guys close to 100, but no one really doing anything worthwhile. And, of course, a couple guys getting some tackles and whatnots. Five tackles for a loss. Look at that guy. So... All right, so here we are, two and one, and we will see you next week. Okay, everybody, here we are in week four. We travel to Baltimore to play the 0-3 Ravens. Uh, we are two and one, so let's go ahead and jump into the action and see what's going on. So it looks like we took an early lead over Baltimore in the first quarter, running in close to middle of the second. We're, down, oh, we're up 13 to three. Now, ooh, 13, wow, Baltimore has really taken it up. 20 to 16 at the end of the third. 30 to 16, 33 to 16, and th wow, thwarted us. 36 to 16. That is exactly how Jonas feels right now. Throwing shit down. We lost to the 0 and 3 team, which makes us fall to 2 and 2 now. But, you know. They all can't be winners, folks. So right now we're two and two, heading into week five. So, oh, dun dun dun! Look at that classic camera work. Oh, Thursday prime time! Bum bum bum! They dominated dominated us in every facet of this game. We had barely any passing, any rushing. No wonder they won. But hopefully, we can turn it around in week five and get back to a winning record. So, real quick before we do that, uh, Garoppolo, goddamn, 131 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. We only had a handful of rushing yards. It was just a pathetic performance all the way around. So, no wonder we lost. But hopefully, we can we can start creeping back up on the winning side here in week. Five. All right, and here we are, week five, back in San Francisco, playing the 2-2 two and two Arizona Cardinals. We're both 2-2. Two and two. Let's go ahead and bump this up to fast and see what happens. So, all right, Arizona looks like they've taken an early lead, 6 to nothing, rolling into the second, 13 to 20 to nothing, rolling into halftime, 27 to nothing. Whoo! 27-6 at the, near the end of the third. Can we do anything as a team right now? All right, we're coming back. No, we're not. It's not. We're not coming back. We came back a little bit, but looks like 27-20. to 20, And now we have fallen to 2-3. and three. I don't like how that looks, but you know, it's still early in the season. Sam Bradford. Jimmy Garoppolo. They're like, hey, man, you know, we enjoy hanging out. Yeah. So, yeah, we let them go up a little bit too early. And then, granted, we didn't come back in the second half, but it was just not enough. So, if you want to take a look real quick at the final stats of the game, it looks like we, uh, we, I mean, oh, man, we even had two takeaways, and we still lost by seven. Holy Jesus. It took all of us working together to lose that game. Right, Jimmy G? All right, everybody. Let's see if we can rally and get back to 500 next week in week six. Okay, everybody. Here we are in week six. Uh, back in uh, 49ers land again. Uh, two and three Falcons and the two and three 49ers. So let's go ahead and see what happens in this one. Uh, looks like, I mean, it's pretty damn close so far. We're up by seven at the end of the first quarter. Atlanta's now 7-3. to three. Oh, 14-3 to three heading into halftime. Oh, no, 14-10 to 10 at halftime. Third quarter, we're still with that four-point lead, letting Atlanta get back into it. We're only down up by one. So now it's the fourth quarter, and, oh, Atlanta is going to pull ahead at the very end and ruin our dreams. See that disappointment right there? There's mud on his sleeve. He's so sad that he has mud on his sleeve. 
So it looks like at the very end of the game, after being up 14 to 3, we're going to blow it and fall to 2 and 4 on the season. The team really needs to pick it up in order to move forward on this second season in this simulation. So let's see why we lost this game today and see if they blew us out stat wise. Here we go. God, another Thursday night game. Yeah, they had us in every aspect. More passing, more rushing, more score, more average yards per play. I mean, it was pretty close, but we just weren't uh, we just weren't good enough, you know what I mean? It just comes down to it. So let's go ahead and check out, see how the stats look today. 241, one touchdown, no interceptions. McKinnon only at 59 rushing yards, and no one at a 100-yard receiving day. Just a... I mean, we passed it around a lot, but it just wasn't what we were looking for to get our team back to 500. So let's see if next week, week seven, we can prove and pull out another W. Okay, here we are, week seven. Uh, we're hosting Cincinnati, who is four and one, and we are two and four. So I'm going to go ahead and get it rolling, see what happens. So. So far, we're up 7 nothing. A lot of these games, we've taken the early lead, and then we blow... Whoa! 21 nothing by half. 28 nothing before halftime. 34 to no 41 to 44. Holy shit. 44 to 7. We just... I don't know what... 54 points to 54 to 10. What the hell just happened to make this... I, they were four and one before they came to play these two and four 49ers. Look at this guy, Jimmy Garofalo, play of the game, player of the game, 318, five touchdowns. If he plays like that every fucking week, yes, we will win 54 points. Holy shit. Can't, you can't say much about that, man. You can't really get too many L's with a uh, 54 point put up. So. Let's see here. We had to demolish the shit out of them. Yeah, they only had 186 passing yards. So we had two takeaways, too. Man. Cincinnati, dude. What are you doing? Letting these 49ers come up on them. So now we've put our record up to 3-4. and four. Uh, Moving into week 8. So we can't halfway through the season, man. If we're 4-4, four and four, all right. That won't be too bad. All right, here we go. We got five, three eighteen, five touchdowns. McKinnon hit 100 yards. And man, we still didn't we still didn't have a hundred yard receiver. But we're passing it around a lot. Look at that. Look at all those different receivers he's getting it to. And of course, we got some tackles. All right, everybody. Next week, week eight, we'll see if we can pull this team up to five hundred again and make that playoff push. And here we are in week eight in Arizona playing the Cardinals. We are Three and four, they're four and two. So let, they beat us a few weeks ago, so let's see what we can do here. All right, coming into the end of the first quarter, still 0-0. Zero, zero. We've finally jumped up 7-0, which they've now jumped up 10-7. 14-21-16 going into the third. Come the end of the third quarter, we're down by 5, 26-21. We got that field goal, got another field goal. We stopped them, no... Oh. Damn. Oh, we did it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't even know what happened, but I think it was a very last-second field goal that made us win 30-29. to So that actually brings the record to 4-4. Four and four. So we're, we're right on par here. We're halfway through. Oh, look at these guys. They're all just like, let's celebrate together doing stuff after we just lost. So, that one, that one was close, man. Another Thursday game. How many goddamn Thursday games am I going to have? 400 passing yards. Five, and I turned the ball over five times and still won the game. How, look, I'd be shaking my goddamn head too, dude. How do you turn over the ball? How do you get five turnovers? Whew. It didn't even, uh, whew. All right, let's go ahead and check this out real quick. Oop, not Cardinals. 49ers at 423, two touchdowns, five, three interceptions. Whew. 
McKinnon still not not anywhere near where he should be. Receiving, we finally had a hundred yard receiver. Look at all those different receivers though. Garoppolo's passing it all over the time, and of course we had tackles. All right, we will be back to see if we can improve to over five hundred. Okay, here we are in Tampa Bay in week nine, or actually week ten because week nine was a bye week. Uh, we are four and four. Tampa Bay is five and three. So let's go ahead and get it moving. Looks like not much has gone on. Three nothing end of the first. We're man, defenses are really ten nothing. Let's do it at halftime. We're up by ten by seven. All right, thirteen to three. Rolling in towards the end of the third. Thirteen to ten. Uh oh. Seventeen sixteen twenty two seven twenty five twenty two. 29 25 and we pulled out another win 49ers are now five and four which are we are cruising hopefully we can catch a playoff berth that would be amazing and let's go ahead and check out the statistics of the day so for the 49ers, the win gets them back over 500 at 5-4 yeah, and, four five and, four. and they'll have another road All right, so week, while we dominated in every, in every uh, sense Meanwhile, of the word the here, so. All right, let's go ahead and check years. out the, on the, season. And be the uh, game stats here. So Atlanta we have 363, town. two TDs, two That'll interceptions, for for 152 Davis, yards for McKinnon. Crew, look, look, McKinnon, look, look at him. Holy crap. Ooh, Goodwin's over 100 score. again. Look at that pass distribution, Twitter. man. That is Amen. all over the place. NFL. And that, had a couple tackles. So all right, so Tampa. let's see if we can move on to next week and get two games over 500 and try to make that playoff run. Okay, and here we are in week 11, ho being hosted by the Rams in Los Angeles. We are 5-3. and three. The Rams are 6-2. and two, or Maybe I'm off on that, but 5-3, and 6-3. and three. Yeah, something like that, so... All right, let's go ahead and bust it up. The Rams are already up by three. We went down and scored to but go up by four. Now heading close to halfway through the second quarter. We're down by three. We're up by four at halftime. So we are going to close in on the end of the third to go up by seven. And now it is tied heading into the fourth. We are up by three. Oh, at the very end of the game, well, the Rams come the through game, they knew that they and score a touchdown to beat us 24 to 20. What a heartbreaking really loss because we were up there with just a few they seconds really left. It looks like they off. scored right They're at the end of the right. game. So the that play. makes we're our record fall to 5 and 5. Oh, that's right. We were 5 and 4. They were 6 and 3. That's what it was. So now we are 5 and 5. We fall back to 500. Seven the Rams go up to, and get to stay home again next seven and three, and yeah, they they pretty much dominated us in every facet of the game here. We got these turnovers, man. Alright, let's take a look here and see. It was a Garoppolo 183, one passing so touchdown, two interceptions. McKinnon almost had 100, and not one. Jerk McKinnon had the most NFL receiving yards. Ugh. And of course. Tackles. The Rams are victorious All right, everybody, let's see so if we can pull back above 500 here in, LA. in week 12. All right, we are back in San Francisco in week 12, trying to go back above 500 against the Washington Redskins. Let's go ahead and see what happens. All right, so we will go and they're going to be up by seven here early in the game, heading into the second quarter. We're Closing into halftime, went down ooh, 13 to 7. Which we have now jumped up to lead at halftime. 17, ooh, 20 to 17 at the at 23, 24 to 23 in the fourth quarter. And now they are up 31 to, oh, we tied it. Overtime, here we are. Can we do it? Can we do it? They did it. <laughs> Boo. Come on. Man. They're getting a shack stick, man. Yep, yep, yep. So we lost this one in overtime. 
34 to 31. Damn. It was a dramatic ending. I just wish it would have went the other way. So now we've fallen to five and six. We still have a chance. We still have a chance. Um, man, I just don't know what to do. I mean, hopefully, hopefully coming up in these next couple weeks, we can make a big difference. Now, like I said before, if it gets down to the end of the year and it maybe the the last game is the determining factor, if I win the division or something, I may play that last game. So, 371 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. He has at least two interceptions every week. 40 yards rushing. What a piece. Oh, wow. 99 yards there. He threw to like eight different receivers. Whew. And, of course, tackles. So, holy shit, 18 tackles? Look at that guy doing his job. All right. So, hopefully next week we can pull ourselves back up to 500. Week 13, we go to Seattle to play the Seahawks, who are 4-7, and seven, and we are 5-6. and six. So, let's go ahead and hopefully we can pull this W out. And get back to 500. 7 to 3. You look like it's going to go into halftime with them leading 13 to 7. Oh, 13 to 10. All right, we jump up with a quick lead in the third quarter by one. Heading into the fourth. We're eight point lead. Can Seattle did not get back and pull off that two point conversion? So we have moved back to 500 at 6 and 6. Still likely that we could potentially make the playoffs as a wild card. So let's keep our fingers crossed as we keep moving on through this season. So 24 to 22 in the rain in Seattle. Another Thursday game. What the hell is that? Why is every game on Thursday? So, all right. It looks like we're, oh my God. They, we have three turnovers and still one by two. Woo. That's rough for Seattle. So, all right. Let's go ahead and take a look at today's stats. Garoppolo only had one interception today. So, we had uh, 301, two TD interception. McKinnon hit that 100-yard mark, and no one had 100 yards receiving. And, of course, as always, we had some tackles. So next week, week 14, to see if we can pull above 500. Okay, week 14, we're getting into, like, crunch time here to see if we can make these playoffs. This week, we are hosting the Rams, who kicked our ass last time. Actually, it was a heartbreaker. So let's go ahead and see if we can move above 500. All right, the Rams are up, and we are, ooh, whew. All right, 14 to 10 going into the half, it looks like. Ooh, 14, 13, 21 to 14. Can we pull off the upset? We're up by 10 in the fourth quarter. Ooh, now we're losing. Look at that. Look how quick, look how quick the cookie crumbles for the 49ers. Bum, bum, bum. Damn. A come from behind victory in this one, Charles. It was a come from behind victory. I thought we were going to pull it off. Look how disappointed I am every time. My players have to console me. Ugh. Back down under 500. If we lose, we only got three games left. And it is, I'm six and seven. Oof. If we, we have to win two of the next three to even have a chance to make the playoffs. If we win the next two... I can uh, maybe play the last game, but ooh, man, yeah, they just they bested us. Didn't have any takeaways. So looks like uh, Garoppolo didn't throw any interceptions today, but we just came up short, guys. Let's see if we can. Uh, yeah, 316, one touchdown. McKinnon over 150 yards. Receivers, numerous receivers, a couple close to 100. And some tackles. But we just well, didn't we do it. So hopefully next week we can pull out the W, get back to 500 at 7-7, seven and seven and make that playoff push. All right, here we are in New Orleans, week 15. We need this win to pull back up to 7-7 seven and seven and potentially make the playoffs. Can we do it? We're going to go down by four early on. We're in the fourth or in the second quarter. Only, ooh, we're down by 11. 
by halftime. Ooh, we're down by 14. <laughs> Can we do anything? Nope. Ooh, 27 to 9. They're going to just shit right on our dreams, aren't they? Yes, they are. No chance here, folks. And we fall to 6 and 8. The playoffs are pretty much out of reach at this point as we lose 30 to 16 in week 15 to the Saints. So we shall see if we can do anything to kind of pull ourselves out of the gutter and hopefully try to finish the season 8-8. Eight and eight, But kicking these field goals like that is not going to do it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the stats for this week. If it will ever show me. And we can see how terribly we fared. There you go, Madden. Thanks. Wow. Every every facet, man. We had two turnovers again. It's a turnover fest, guys. All right. Ooh, Garoppolo looking sad today. Yep, there, there's his two picks. 178 and two interceptions. McKinnon, 48 yards. And look at that sad performance. No one even had 50 yards receiving. So at least we had some tackles. There we go. So, there we have it, folks. It's not looking like it's going to be the playoffs this year, but you never know. All right, and we are back to San Francisco for Week 16. At 6-8, six and eight, we have a slight chance to make the playoffs. Very slight, but we have to win these next two games. So, let's see. The Pittsburgh Steelers were also 6-8, and eight, so we may be able to pull this off. Going in halfway through the second, we're up by three, up by six, going, ooh, down by one going into halftime. So let's see, can we pull it out in the second half? So far, still down by one. Looks like it's going to be going into the fourth. Ooh, we're up by seven with just three minutes left. Oh, by seven. Oh, we have won the game by seven, which pulls us up to well, seven and eight. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and look at the standings after this game. And if there is a slight-ass chance that I can make the playoffs, I'm going to play Week 17 to pull my record to 8-8, eight and eight, and then maybe I can get the tiebreaker and make it in. So I'm going to have to take a look at the standings and see. And then we'll play it by ear from there. So I'll either jump back on and in the video so we can play week 17 or it'll go right into the week 17 simulation if there's no chance that we can make the play. we have three takeaways and only one by seven Whew. man all right let's take a look here all right 49ers 207 one touchdown 74 rushing yards and a thrown to a million receivers but no 100 yard receivers tackles so all right let me go ahead and see what our chances are of making the playoffs and we'll go from there all right everybody we are here on week 17 hosting seattle and san francisco there is no way that we can make the playoffs there's too many teams uh that have a better record so even if uh one of the only chance we had there's a there's a team with a tie so there's no way so let's go ahead and get this over finish out this season and see if we can come at 500 for the year so who all right up 16 to 3 halfway through the second 23 to 3 is looking pretty convincing that we are going to win unless seattle pulls one out of their damn ass so here we are in the fourth quarter who Okay, 29 to 17, 36 to 17. And at least we had a convincing win to end the season. So there we are. Pete Carroll is sad. Garoppolo is like, hey, wow, 333, four touchdowns and a pick. That's not bad. Not a bad way to end the season. So, I mean, we did end up 8-8. Eight eight. Uh, one of those wins was me from week one that actually played the game. Uh, so, I mean, it looks like we're going in the right direction. So, you know, let's go ahead and check out these stats here at the end of the game. 
there was a portable laminator. All right. uh, the stats. That you learned. Golly, wise beyond his years. All right. So he was 333, 4, so and 1. Cannon at 86 yards. And we did have a 100 yard so receiver today. Right so, and of course, and we had some tackles. Accounts, so, all right. Let me go ahead and Seattle, get out of this game here. We'll go ahead and make sure and just for everything that we didn't make the playoffs. And then we'll go ahead and wrap up this season two simulation. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, uh, go ahead and make Trent Taylor a little better. But oh yay! All right. So all right, everybody. So that was one hell of a season. I'm gonna go ahead and advance the week to the wild card week, just to make sure that we didn't make it. And some long shot that I didn't see by coming in eight and eight, and we did not. So. All right, so that is all the time that we have for this simulation episode of Crazy Town Gaming. Please make sure to leave me comments about what you think about this. This is something new that I'm doing for the channel. If you, if you like it, let me know. If you want me to do another team, let me know. You know, subscribe, share it with your friends, anything here. We also have a podcast here at The Crazy Town. It's available on iTunes and SoundCloud. Links are in the description. It's also here on the YouTube channel. So tune into my next video. It'll be the season two in review for these 49ers where I'll go over stats and awards and things like that. Then, of course, the off season where I can try to improve this team to see if we can make the Super Bowl or even the playoffs in year three. So for Jonas, thanks for watching. I... M. Out.